Hello. We will demonstrate um, a simulation model for uh, operational system availability and maintenance cost. During the engineering phase, the engineer in charge to define maintenance have to answer several questions. On which equipment uh, I will do maintenance? I will do maintenance preventive or corrective just after the failure. Choices for maintenance strategies have impact on the two major parameters, global cost of the maintenance and the level of the fleet availability. Uh, we can't create a maintenance plan without any idea of the consequences as we need some solution able to simulate operational system availability and maintenance cost. Here we will demonstrate solution uh, using SysML and uh, uh, Cameo Sim Toolkit uh, by executing uh, uh, formal interpreted SysML model directly from the model we will get an analysis of the system behavior and uh, characteristics during the life cycle so here we see in the model we have state machine representing uh, aircraft's uh, life cycles it, the aircraft is on mission after the time to failure it's switch uh, for waiting for maintenance if there is more resources available than zero it will switch to workshop so it will wait for the resources available uh, if resources are available it will switch to workshop and uh, after the repair time it will switch back to mission right and all those uh, characteristics as uh, repair time resources uh, and time to failure they could come from the patterns uh, based on different aircraft uh, historical data or specification also, they could come uh, as the distribution, right? So we can uh, use normal distribution as we can see here. And uh, uh, here we see that we specify two types of aircraft, uh, Boeing 737-800 and Boeing 737-700. Based on the public data, we took the two of that type. So they represent 200 of that type and five, 500 of that type and uh, they will uh, run for a specific period of time. The time to failure distribution is normal. We see the mean is 100 and standard deviation is 10. The repair time again is normal. I mean, it's five, standard deviation is 0 0.5. Here is, uh, it's different for Boeing 700. This is uh, just a sample data. This is not uh, real data. And we have here also sample data as the mission profit and uh, this profit is per day and also uh, weight cost per day and repair cost per day just sample data not uh, real data repair cost uh, weight cost and mission uh, profit uh, this is um, per day but different for both uh, aircraft we could have as many aircraft uh, types as, as we need also we can change configuration what is the number of the uh, different uh, aircraft we have in our fleet. So those uh, aircrafts are in fleet and fleet is in the airlines and airlines has warehouse and infrastructure. Infrastructure has resources used to fix the aircraft. So if aircraft is on workshop, it uh, consume one resource and um, then uh, another aircraft uh, uh, which uh, uh, gets uh, failure uh, can't really go to the workshop he will go to the wait for maintenance state and will wait for resources availability now i will execute single aircraft uh, to see how life cycles change and um, i will uh, decrease the number of uh, this aircraft type and it will set on the one for this one i will execute in the whole um, uh, context uh, because I need the resources right without resources it will not switch through this point it will never increase uh, see the resources available and uh, I will run here simulation run when they execute uh, the distributions get assigned uh, for the different uh, default values uh, on each aircraft now I have only one aircraft so I have uh, assigned repair time 4.8 and uh, here we have time to fail at 9.2 so based on the normal distribution and to run behavior I need to click here but also I could track uh, you know resources availability so I will right click here on resource property uh, 
show in time series chart and now I will run this execution so I will see simulation here and we will switch from one state to another state and we see that we consume one resource when we switch from one state to another state So now, uh, now, uh, so I check that uh, on one aircraft uh, workflows uh, correct. We can have more aircrafts with different workflows. The workflows could be same, just different characteristics, or it could be also different workflows. Now I will run the simulation with uh, more aircraft, so five of this type and two, let's say, of this type. We will execute this model from the uh, whole airline's perspective, and uh, we will run. Uh, uh, two of this type of aircraft, five of this type of aircraft, uh, based on the type of aircraft with this different characteristics like repair cost, weight cost, uh, on mission profit, uh, and also time to failure and repair time gets assigned uh, as the random numbers and specified distribution for each aircraft of that type. So now I will run for short uh, duration analysis. This is for one year. Uh, I'm tracking uh, characteristics uh, as um, uh, total uh, time on mission and uh, weight and uh, work uh, workshop, the percentage spent on each uh, of the states. So the, this is uh, percentage spent on weight and uh, time and mission again for whole fleet, and then total cost and profit uh, and uh, total cost here. Yeah, so we have three hundred. Uh, total costs uh, multiplied by 100 if we take hundreds of each and we see that when we generated the instance of this model we see that uh, distributions got assigned uh, uh, based on the numbers of repair time for each aircraft got assigned based on the distributions they are different so here we see for example repair time 5.3 and aircraft 2 repair time Repair time 5.5, .5, another aircraft, repair time 5.1. We could track uh, more characteristics and uh, we could, you know, compare, you know, different equipment uh, uh, based on the different uh, strategies, uh, uh, failures and uh, repair times. Now, when we save the results here, uh, now, actually, when I stop the execution, every time I stop execution, the results get saved as the instance of that execution. So here I see those uh, configurations, different configurations, aircraft 2, aircraft 1. So 2 of aircraft 2 and 5 of aircraft 1. That was the last execution. This is uh, ended just a minute ago, 12.56, 12.57. And I see the total repair cost, total profit. Right. Uh, and then uh, uh, on mission percentage and uh, workshop percentage and uh, weight percentage. This is 1% uh, is distributed between those. We can uh, specify more precisely. Uh, and uh, I could then compare different configurations. And once I did that, uh, once I compare different configurations, I see that actually this configuration, when we have uh, uh, all the seven aircraft of this aircraft type one uh, is the most uh, profitable, the most profitable and the least expensive on the cost. And uh, if I will go back, uh, we will see that it makes sense, right? Uh, the the um, this one uh, aircraft is uh, repair cost maybe is higher. But uh, it uh, time to failure is also higher, so it uh, works longer without repair. That's why the total repair cost goes lower, and uh, mission profit goes higher also. So that's the execution of the model, which uh, uh, first of all represents the 
lifeline of the aircraft and could be parts of the aircraft and the life cycle and then uh, also the characteristics in context of whole airline and we simulate operational system availability and maintenance cost.